Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to be changing the Ableton Live 9 metronome click sound. Uh, to some, the click sound can be a little bit jarring. It's right up here. And in the headphones, yeah, it, it doesn't sound that great. Right? And there's a way to change that. You can't necessarily right click and change it or uh, go into your preferences and change it. You actually have to go into the file structure, which isn't too hard this is for pc so we have uh you know this pc we're going to go into our local disk which is c and then i'm going to go to view because i want to be able to see my app data so we're going to click hit view and then click hidden items and we have program data sorry it's right here i'm going to go down to ableton Ableton Live 9 Suite, and we're going to go to Resources, and then MISC. And what is in here? We have Metronome, and uh, Metronome is, oddly enough, a device, um, but, uh, or like the Metronome, it, it's kind of its own project file, which I guess is interesting if it works for them. Uh, you go into your samples, and then you have Two things you have your metronome like your regular click and then you have your metronome up which is a, a an octave up right so what you can do is uh you can use any sound you want it just has to be the, the same name so we found one uh that the client really likes which is this click which is kind of like a rim shot sort of thing so you'd make sure that uh, you'd right-click Show Fades, move that over, set that around there, and uh, right, so there's your metronome. And then you're going to need a metronome up, which we'll just go over here, and we'll have that set to 12 or something. It'll be like that. I already have it in here uh, just for uh, ease of use. I have a click track that I have that goes all along. So I can kind of take it out and do like my own kind of, le my own kind of lead-ins. And I'll get into uh, that in the next video. Uh, hope you learned stuff. Take care and have a good one.